So it is descriptive of the raw material of toothpaste. But why is it approved? Because it has long history. We can see this part. means a kind of Chinese traditional medicine. It contains such kind of uh, in, uh, ingredient. 
So just like that. Now I will give you the example. Let's see this tree mark. You can see it's very similar to this one, right? Yeah. Except the the so circle. Yes. Oh. yes. <coughs> but I can tell you that this brand is owned by Wei Wei Lü Shanghai uh Baozhuang Yu Xing Si. It's a Shanghai based company, but it is invested by a a very famous American company, International Paper Company. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe you must you know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very famous uh, brand of paper uh, boxes in the world. But you can see this company is Huawei Tangai Yu Xing Si. It's from Hubei province, and it, it bought this application in 1996. Actually, before this, an owner of Xinxian Wu and this brand registered its trademark in, in Taiwan of our country. And then, almost at the same time, the owner bought the, this one. This is our client's trademark. Actually, in this case, I, uh, I was involved in this case when I was in Liu Shen and Associates. So I remember this case. And you can see the name is Shanghai Guoji Zhi Ye Yuxian Gong Si. But now it's changed to the name. The name is uh, Wei Lü uh, Zhi Ye Shanghai Guoji Yuxian Gong Si. It's very similar, right? But our trademark designated uh, paper boxes and paper and and some other paper uh, products. But it's related to a drink, a drink uh, like yogurt, something else, something like that. Like the, uh, I mean, the materials. Actually, they are different. They are, they, the products are classified into different classes. This is in class, uh, in class uh, 16, and this is in class 32. And our client instructed us to file the dispute against this one. And also this one. The same, the same owner. Because our client think, thinks that they, ha they have registered their trademarks in bad faith. Because actually we have a long history. And we, uh, our client registered its trademark in Taiwan in the 1980s. So, for many, many, uh, for this this company, and we think that they should know the brand of our clients. So they filed this application in bad faith, and after the uh, is registered about uh, let's see in, in two thousand and two, and we filed the case uh, the dispute against this trademark and the, the last one trademark, and. And then, uh, when I uh, checked the website of the trademark office, uh, trademark office, I noticed that the trap approves this dispute. That means the two trademarks are finally cancelled by the trap. But the owner it was dis uh, dissatisfied with the decision and proceeded with the uh, litigation before the court. And uh, when I prepared for this presentation, I just checked and uh, I mean on uh, uh, internet and noticed that in 2005, and the the judgment made by the court says that it should be cancelled because this brand, this brand Xinjiang Wu, has a certain reputation. It doesn't mean it is well known, but has only a certain reputation. Pursuant to the trademark law of China, there's an item that is, if a trademark that is not registered in China, because 